All right, guys, let's do this. Let's warm up America again. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Tiffany Hansen. I am so excited for you to be here today, especially for this video, because today I am kicking off our Warm Up America Foundation campaign. And this is gonna be great. We had so much fun with this last year that I had people reaching out to me asking, when can we do it again? When can we do it again? So after communicating with Warm Up America, we are kicking off our new campaign today. And it's a little bit different from the last campaign. So hang in there while I explain what they are asking us for. If you weren't part of my channel or didn't participate in the Warm Up America campaign last year, let me back up a little bit and explain what the Warm Up America Foundation even is and why we are so excited. So once upon a time, there was this incredible woman named Evie Rosen. She owned a cute little shop. She would teach people how to knit. She would teach people how to crochet. And she formed this whole community of craft crafters. She noticed though, walking through her town that there was a whole community of homeless people and she saw a need and she's like, oh my gosh, I can make them blankets, I can make them hats, I can make them scarves, gloves, things to keep them warm. There is clearly a need and I wanna help. Unfortunately, no matter how much material she used, no, ma no matter how much time she spent, no matter how much she could create, it was never enough to meet the need. She kept falling short and it would just, make her so sad and touch her heart. And she's like, oh my gosh, okay, how can I help these people? How can I meet a need that I clearly see? So she came up with this brilliant idea of making seven inch by nine inch rectangular sections. Cause she's, she thought, okay, it won't take a lot of material to make these little sections. I can whip them up super fast. And if I can get people to help me, it's not so, scary or so daunting to ask somebody for a seven inch by nine inch rectangular section opposed to can you make me a blanket <laughs> that can take a long time so she reached out to her volunteers and to her students and to people in her crafty community and asked them if they could make these seven inch by nine inch rectangular sections and they did and they joined the sections and were able to make whatever size blanket they needed whether it was a baby blanket a lap gan, an adult blanket, they could make it all with these rectangular sections just by joining them and meeting certain dimensions. It was a huge success. It did so incredibly well that it's still around today. They still accept these nine by seven or seven by nine inch rectangular sections and it is a huge deal. It is so amazing what they do with them. Love this. So let's fast forward. The Warm Up America Foundation has grown and evolved into something so incredibly more. They now became a, an umbrella foundation that helps smaller charities to meet their needs. So these smaller charities will come to Warm Up America and let them know, we need beanies, we need blankets, we need this, we need that. And Warm Up America will shout out to all of their volunteers saying there is a need. And then all of us crafty people, we make things to help fill these needs and they have like 20, I think there's a lot of charities that they have that they're supporting that have a need. So if you have something that you love to create, look to see which charity needs that item. It's so awesome. I appreciate them because you know that whatever you're making is going to be used opposed to making something and handing it over to somebody, fingers crossed that it'll be used or it was needed that you know that this item was needed. You know this item will be used. So that's great with giving us direction and giving us purpose. My campaign is being paired with the Made With Love campaign. So a little different from last year, they are asking us to make beanies, hats, scarves, cowls, gloves, fingerless gloves, mittens. That's what they need us to make. Okay, now in all sizes, from baby to adult and everything in between, they need it all. <laughs> and it can be any pattern you want it to be. You don't have to stick with a specific pattern I'm going to bake for you or tutorial that I made. I did that with the last campaign. I had two pattern options this time. I'm just gonna let you make whatever you wanna make. Use my tutorials, use somebody else's tutorials, use a crochet pattern book whatever inspires you. I'm not going to restrict you in any way. Just have fun. 
really just enjoy this and make whatever pattern you want as many as you want and don't and whatever size and donate it in send it in the materials they are asking that it be 100 percent acrylic or something that is easy to wash such as like a cotton blend 100 percent cotton isn't the most ex most comfortable thing so i wouldn't recommend 100 percent cotton uh maybe a cotton blend that is a little softer a little more comfortable but anything that's easy to wash because we do not know when these items will be washed will have an opportunity to be washed and they definitely will not have an opportunity to uh, lay flat to dry <laughs> if that makes any sense so they recommend 100 percent acrylic the best thing about this entire campaign and why I'm so incredibly excited to launch in January is they love when we can utilize scrap yarn. Clean out your scrap yarn, guys. We just finished December. We just finished November and all of those holiday months, making things for people, making things for our homes. We have scrap yarn everywhere. Use your scrap yarn. Just grab it, put it in a pile, tie a knot in every, every piece and just go. They don't care if you make a beanie that starts off blue, has a strip of yellow in there somewhere, and ends hot pink. They don't care. It's an item that is serving its purpose. They don't care if you made a scarf and most of the scarf is this multicolor yarn and then like in the middle of a row you switch to this purple that ended up switching to orange that ended up they don't care they don't you're making an item that will be used and so take your scrap yarn tie a knot in all of them to join them all and then just create and get rid of your stash clean up your yarn area and make room for more yarn for new projects this year <laughs> oh my gosh i love this so much okay so the campaign begins today january 21st they give me a month it ends February 21st. That is the cutoff. Okay, so if you make anything and you want to ship it in, make sure the last day that the postage, postage stamp says February 21st. Anything beyond that, they will still accept it. They'll still absolutely need it and use it. It just won't count towards our numbers, our campaign. Okay, so try to be like, Go to the calendar, put a big circle around that date and make sure that whatever you make, you ship before that date or on that date, but nothing after that date, okay? Then what is awesome is they count everything that comes in. So it's super important that you ship to this address that I'm putting here on the screen. It has attention Tiffany Hansen in there. I will also include this in the description section, the comment section, and on my website, crochetwithtiffany.com, I will have a whole page dedicated to this campaign. You can go there to find any resources or anything that you need, any questions that you may have. You can ask them or find out a lot of information there on the website. It's important that you put attention Tiffany Hansen. That way when the people at Warm Up America get the package, they see that, they're like, oh, okay, everything in here needs to go towards her numbers. And what they'll do is they'll open up and they'll be like, oh, beanie tally scarf tally and they count it all they will count everything through the end of february 21st in march i'm going to meet up with the people at warm up america and they will reveal the numbers to me on how many beanies they received how many scarfs they received how many gloves they received and i love that part because i love to see what together we were able to accomplish what, what we were able to help to dedicate the 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 strength in numbers that we did. Oh, I love that part so incredibly much. Okay. Also, before you ship off your donations, there is a, don a donation form you need to include in your package. Okay. I'm going to put the link to the donation form, description section, comment section. So you just click on it and print off the form. Um, I'll, I will also have that on my website, the page, if you just want to go there to get all information. Uh, and they also have something really cool going on with their Warm Up America campaign right now. Their, the, their whole foundation. They're celebrating their 30th anniversary. They are doing something super awesome. For every monetary donation, there is a spot on their website where you can donate money to, to their foundation. 
that money will go towards their shipping, all the donation, all the finished projects to the people in need. It goes towards the delivery fees to deliver these items to the homeless communities. It's all in the shipping and delivery fees. It also helps them with materials to help continue to create things for the people that need it. So that is, it's a nonprofit organization. I've seen everything they do. They have incredible volunteers. A lot of them are volunteers and they just need help bringing in some money so they can ship things to those people that need them. Okay, get, get the things to the people that need them. If you spend $30 or more, celebrating their 30th anniversary, you get 90 free patterns that are both knit and crochet. 90, <laughs> they, they will give you 90 patterns, both knit and crochet patterns, just by donating $30 or more. So check that out, that blew my mind. That was super awesome. I think that's everything. Get started. I hope you have so much fun. Again, you do not have to use my patterns, though if you want to see some of my, uh, my tutorials, I have beanie tutorials, I have scarf tutorials, I have one fingerless glove tutorial, but I plan on making more mitten tutorials. But use anybody's tutorials, use anybody's patterns, have fun with this campaign. Let's help warm up America, help the Made With Love campaign and do amazing things. Use up that yarn stash. <laughs> If you have any questions at all, feel free to comment in the comment section below. Reach out to me with any of my contact information. Check out my website with even more information there and get started. Have fun. This is going to be great. Love you guys. I will see you with the next video. Bye.